morning and thank you so much for joining us on this June 12th edition of Lux Wake Up. I'm Natasha Sweet. President Joe Biden travels to Delaware where his son was convicted on felony gun charges. Our Christian Daytog has more on how it altered plans at the White House. On Tuesday, the White House canceled the daily press briefing and President Biden made an unscheduled trip to Delaware to visit with family after a jury found Hunter Biden, the president's son, guilty on three felony gun charges. In a statement, the president said that he remains proud of his son, but that he would accept the verdict and did not plan to pardon Hunter at any point in the future. Before departing Washington, President Biden delivered remarks at a gun control event in Washington. No single action can solve the entirety of the gun violence epidemic, but together, our efforts, your efforts, are saving lives. We can help rally a nation with a sense of urgency and seriousness of purpose. Biden noticeably made no mention of the verdict or the conviction. Reporting for the Washington Examiner, I'm Christian Daytok. As the war rages on in the Middle East between Israel and Iranian-backed terrorist organizations, including Hamas, the role of the media covering the conflict has become front and center. We take a look into how Palestine is training their so-called journalists. We are on the ground in Gaza covering the ongoing Israeli bombardment and the suffering of people. As men and women entered a building in Gaza City, attendees stood for a moment of silence to mourn the souls of what they consider to be martyrs. They were handed certifications of shields of appreciation from the Qatari-backed Al Jazeera website. One person in attendance was reportedly a freelance photographer for the New York Times, among other American media outlets. Palestinian terrorists have long worked to develop their own infrastructure to train media in Gaza. Sources who exposed information about a Hamas spokesman said what better way to manipulate public opinion than to become the media itself. Hamas holds lectures and courses for both men and women. Representative Nancy Mace won her South Carolina primary after beating two challengers. Do you think Mace will have a difficult time winning re-election now? Yeah, I don't. Well, not because of this. I mean, if you've watched her, just her philosophy and the flip-flopping, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't believe she wins re-election. Mace was one of eight Republicans who split from the party to oust former Speaker Kevin McCarthy from his seat. And I've made deals with Kevin McCarthy, with the Speaker, that he has not kept to help women in this country. And we have done nothing for them. And I come from South Carolina. When you shake my hand and you make a promise and you don't keep it, there are consequences to those actions. And despite issues in the past, Mace did receive a surprise endorsement from former President Donald Trump. And I will tell you, she's a fighter. I know about that. She's a fighter. Catherine Templeton, former director of South Carolina Department of Health, received financial support from McCarthy, although not directly. A former speaker funneled large amounts of money through outside groups and PACs into races like Mesa's. Thank you so much for joining us this Wednesday morning. Be sure to check out our website for more stories and give us a follow on social media so you can stay in the know and all that's trending in politics. Have a great day.